Hello, I hope everything is going well. Today, we'll continue to our lessons with present simple and adverbs of frequency. So, as you know, we use present simple tense for daily routines, habits, likes, dislikes or repeated actions. We talked about them last week as well. And we have some sentences I read them before. I brush my teeth every day. I drink tea at breakfast. I like playing computer games. I don't like playing football. I play tennis on Saturdays. And when we are talking about for general truths, we can use present simple tense. For example, the oceans are deep and cold. The moon orbits the earth. Water freezes at zero degrees. So what is that risk of frequency? We use them to say how often we do things or how often things happen. We can use always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. For example, how often do you play volleyball? I sometimes play volleyball. After subject, we use adverse of frequency. How often does he draw a picture? So after how, how often, we use auxiliary verb, do or does, according to subject. After then subject and our verb, how often does he draw a picture? He rarely draws a picture. She has a shower three times a week. We can also use once, twice, three times, four times, and an hour a day, a week. Okay? And what is the question of this sentence? Of course, how often does she have a shower? So the answer is she has a shower three times a week. Okay. Let's... Check the worksheet answers together. So, complete the sentences with the correct form of the words in brackets. My grandparents often eat, okay? Because grandparents, um, they are plural. That's why we use eat. We always have, first of all, our subject, we, and adverse of Rakins, always, and our verb is have. We always have a test every Friday. He never likes because we are talk, talking about third singular uh, pronoun. Like the cook at the weekend. I am. If we have to be, we always use at risk of frequency after to be. I'm often hungry before school. Peter sometimes plays. She usually relaxes in the garden. And to never watch tally in the evening. And now we are going to rewrite the sentences by putting the adverse of frequency in brackets in the correct place. I go to school on Saturday. So how can you make sentence? I never go to school on Saturday. Ronnie is an early for school. Ronnie is always early for school. Okay, after to be we use adverse of frequency. We wake up late Sunday. We usually wake up late on Sunday. They visit their grandparents at the weekend. They often visit their grandparents at the weekend. My parents play chess. My parents sometimes play chess. Okay, after subject, we use adverse of frequency here. I'm in my room after lunch. I am never in my room after lunch. Okay, now... Let's try to fill in the blanks by using present simple. Use a third person singular. Okay, he, she, it, as you remember. So, Becky likes reading a fantasy book. Amanda stays at home in the evening. Martin has cereal with milk for breakfast. David flies to the United States every summer. Philippa does her homework with her uh, best friend. Edward rel relaxes in front of the tally. Okay, so complete the text with the correct form of the verb. Use affirmative or negative forms. Positive form, negative verbs according to sentence we are going to choose. So this is a positive sentence. I watch a lot of interesting programs and films, but I don't watch. Okay, our auxiliary verb don't because we use I as a subject. I don't watch on Thursdays because I'm very busy. My parents don't watch any films, but they watch the news in the evening. My sister, Annie, doesn't watch because we use the third uh, 
person singular. Okay, doesn't watch news. Her favorite program is about animals. Her best friend watches it too. So lastly, let's check your uh, last worksheet. Okay, use of English. So we're going to use do, don't, does or doesn't according to sentence. First one, do you like dogs? Dogs. Uh, okay. So this is our example. Now we're going to try to make a sentence. Do your brothers or does your brothers? Of course, do your brothers because brothers mean uh, more than you have more than one brother, right? You have brothers. That 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 means plural. Do your brothers work at your parents' restaurant? No, they don't. They rent a flat near the university. Okay. Does your mother, because this is third uh, singular person, does your mother work for a big company? No, she doesn't. She is the boss. Okay. Does your best friend post any interesting photos on Facebook? No, he doesn't. His Facebook wall is boring. Now we are going to write question about the information in the world. Use the verse in the box. How many, when, what, support, where, what kind of, which, what time, who, with. Okay, for example, first one, I like football best. Which sports do you like best? We can use it. According to underlined uh, word, okay. John knows about 20 teachers at his school. So how many can we use it? How many? Teachers does John know, okay, at his school. John knows about 20 teachers. They like adventures, films. What kind of movies do they like? I love pizza. What do you like? We can ask, okay, what do you like? My brother studies in Manchester. Where does your brother study? I go to bed at 9.30 on Wednesday. What time do you go to bed? So the answer is, I go to bed at 9.30. Susan goes to the cinema with her brother. Uh, who does Susan go to the cinema with? We can ask. So Susan goes to the cinema with her brother. When go to the supermarket on Saturday morning? Uh, we go to the supermarket on Saturday morning. So when do we go to the supermarket? Okay, so the answer is on Sunday, Saturday morning. Okay, so uh, we revise present simple tense and adverse of frequency. See you later next week. Take care. Bye-bye.